Shalom, shalom, y'all, Shalom. He boys like Tulsa, Oklahoma. What's going on here? Prophet of Death by Baba Break. First things first, head to the east, give our praise to the Lord too. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Which is the pedigree of the Son, created in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors and pops and elders of the Great Millstone. And Shalom to Sister Brother Lake Miss Truth. And Shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying for yourself the rules. Come today, Yahshua, you can see all things, uh, you know, set up. You know, we talking about that if we open up camp. You know, this place is crumbling. Babylon, the great America. We tell the dollars about to be out of here. They got the micro crisis in here. So Esau can run his little diabolical military drills to take all the children of Israel. It's all in place. Now, with them saying pearls coming, the number one thing we're going to need to make it through this is going to be faith. We're going to need our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's going to be very precious in this time. And it's going to be tested. That's one thing that's going to be tested in these times is going to be our faith. You know, because Esau want to see who really got it and who don't. You know, the food's going to be low. Um, they're going to cut the lights out, cut the water off, cut the gas off. You know, everything is going to be chaos. You're going to hear gunshots at night, people hollering. And at that time, you can't get scared. You know, buckle down and run to Esau's facilities. No, we're going to have to hey, stay rooted and grounded on Yahweh Bashi was shot. So I got the opener for us. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 11. I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 5. And he said, By faith, he not was translated that he should not see death and was not found because Yahweh had translated him. For before he, his translation, he had this testimony that he pleaded Yahweh Bashi was shot. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to your house must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Ah, uh, see? Hey, so faith, which is, you got them? Faith, everything not seen? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, the first, first, very first verse of uh, yeah, Hebrews yeah. 11 and 1. And it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Nah, you hear that? The, 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 the evidence of things not seen, that's what faith is, man. Although, to the believers, we can see it. You know, it's not here right now, but we can see it. You know, you got a lot of carnal Israelites. They don't want to believe in this truth. They can't get into it because they don't see it yet. You know, a lot of Israelites are like, man, where your school at? They need a physical building. They need a physical temple. They want to see a, a big military force. They want to see where your food facilities at. They want to see the kingdom already set up before they can believe. And it don't work like that. And the Lord wants those that genuinely have faith. So faith is the evidence of things not seen. So what it is, they don't have faith. You know, they got it. That's why they believe in Esau so much. Because Esau's stuff is tangible. Yeah, that's you can why, see it. That's why, the yeah. Lord, that's why the Lord said this in Matthew 17 and 17. It says, Then Yahweh Shah said, O oh, faithless and uh, perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring them hither to me. So the Lord was letting his disciples know, man, hey, y'all didn't do that work. None of that worked for y'all because y'all didn't have the faith, man. Y'all didn't believe fully, man. So you got to have that faith. And jumping down to uh, verse 20, it says, And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Because, uh, this is like it says, Because of unbelief for, uh, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall, you shall say unto the mountains, rem, uh, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be, it's, it's a, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you, man. So all you need is just a little faith, man. See, most people over here they don't have no faith, man. That's why the Lord said, faith, uh, a faithful generation. That's why people following after Esau, they need to see a sign, they need uh they need the bag to feel comfortable. You gotta know. Yeah, real quick, I wanna just, just to back you up too, because this is the words of Yahweh Shai himself. But this is uh Matthew chapter 18, and I'm gonna start at verse 19. Alright, because it says, and again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as as touching it, touching anything. They shall ask, it shall be done for them, or of my Father, which is in heaven. All right? And so that right there, asking, just simply asking, for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it should you, you be done unto you. All right? In verse 20, he said, For where two and three are gathered together in my name, 
there I am in the midst of death. All right, and so going back to what Oxford mentioned, is that a lot of people got to see tangible things. They got to see, you know, a building or a school. And, and Apostle Paul mentioned that, you know, the uh, the, the, the Lord don't, don't dwell, in, dwell in temples made by hand. Okay, so in order for you to see a group of other preaching the words of Yahweh about me all child, you got to have faith. But that they, they are preaching the words of Yahweh about me all child. Because we, in verse 20, because he said, For where two and three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. All right, you got to have faith to believe that. Okay? Yeah, hey, I got one. This is Galatians 3 and 22. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Yahweh Shai might be given to them that believe. And that's what, you know, that strengthens our belief in this, in this truth, is our faith. You know, and, and that's why we try our best, you know, rehearse the righteous act. And hopefully in the end days, you know, all of our sins will be cleansed and we'll be forgiven. Uh, I got one too, going full circle with that. Because faith is a gift from Yahweh Shai. It ain't something like you just conjure up on your own. So this is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh. So if you got that gift of faith, that's something you need to culture and cultivate. That's something you need to grow. Like I uh, read the said earlier, you got faith of a mustard seed. A mustard seed is a real small seed. I finally got to see what a mustard seed looked like. It's really, really small. So if you got that, man, you like, like you know, any good farmer do, you need to plant that. Water it. That's why the words prefer to live in waters. Stay in this truth. You know, uh, eat this word. You know, water it, and then let your faith flourish. Let it grow. But that's gonna be needed. Like I said, when all the lights go out, when this military troops running up and down the block. You know, you got people running up like man. I ain't ate in about three or four days. You got some food to spare. You know, it's gonna be we in the beginning of sorrow. People about to get laid off their jobs. People have to be in a real bad situation. We talking about before we open up camp. The dollar could crash probably the next couple of months. They could announce that. That's going to be a big announcement right there. That's going to be the beginning of all chaos raining out. Because a lot of people like to use their cash. A lot of Edomites know once cash goes, that's their system going. So after that, they're not going to listen to what no uh, governor, president, unless it's Trump, or uh, any mayor got to say. They're going to run around with their sword. They're going to feel like they got to do what they got to do. To make sure they family good. Esau don't have faith. You know, this is not about Esau. This is about Yahshua and Israel. We have faith. We have a Savior. So it's up to us to believe in that. The majority of our people don't believe in that. They too caught up and drunk off the Babylon juice or what America have provided. So they don't have no faith. And because they don't have no faith, they'll convince you not to have no faith. They tell you how stupid is you to believe in UFOs. How dumb is you to believe they always tell me you, you believe in some sky god? gonna crack the skies and save you you know you like yeah you tell them that they like man you crazy what where, where can i get some of that weed you smoking you know and now we're at the point now where prophecy is raining out so now it's hard for a scar for the scar you got the pentagon talking about ufos you know you got the migrants all up in here you got the bricks nation about to come online the dollar going crash so now it's going looking like oh man hold up so our faith like i said earlier our faith is increased because the prophecies is playing out so now you look at them like, man, you better get in this house before it starts storming. You know? I got a quick one. This is Romans 5 and 1. And it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach, by whom also we have access by faith unto the grace wherein we stand and rejoice and hope for the glory of Yahweh. So then, just like that bagged up everything the brother said, man. Shit, with this faith, man, yeah, we yeah. we flourish, man. We get strong through that. Those who don't have Yahweh, uh, how and why Yahweh shot, they don't have that faith, man. They don't have that grace or that hope that we got. You got it. Yeah, so they right there showing you, man. Faith is going to be a big time important commodity, man, when this thing starting to hit off. You know, uh, women going to be running to dudes that got it. Know yeah. something that's going on, especially, you know, especially when that faith really starts to get fulfilled. Yeah. You know, when brothers start getting that, uh, what, it is, what should like, I say, like they had the right protection and uh, okay. have, uh, it's you know, uh, all what kinds what of uh, resources gonna be available to them. You know, that, that's when they, that faith gonna shine, man. Kind of like I say in the scriptures, uh, what it say, do you light a candle, then put it on the brushel? So that faith, 
You know, it's gonna make us shine when that darkness starts to overtake this place. And that, that goes back to what you were saying earlier, man, because you said all you gotta do is have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. And when you actually water it, and you actually look up what a, a mustard plant looks like, it's a, it grows and it grows like grass. It's like covers the whole field. So that, that one seed, and then when your faith grows, it literally covers the whole field. So that basically, uh, give, that should give you faith enough to know that like once you have that, that little bit of faith, just know it's gonna grow just like that whole crop, just like a uh, farm crop. You're gonna have massive faith after that. Yeah, I got a point. And like as y'all was saying, you know, like the faith is a mustard seed, but like any seed, you gotta cultivate it and it'll start to grow. And the way that we cultivate that small seed is, is, is get into these scriptures and read, you know, and baptize ourselves, basically indulge ourselves in these scriptures. And by doing that, like any other plant, it will produce works. That's yeah, why we're out here right now. These scriptures know. is known as living waters, man. And what you put on the seed, you put water on there and it, it'll sprout up and grow. Real you quick. gotta nourish him with these words. Uh, real quick, but when I just mentioned that, you know, uh, when you have that grain and you gotta cultivate, that means you gotta do the work, all right? So this is Baruch chapter four and 28. And it said, for as it, as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So that's originally we didn't know the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? And it said, so, and it said, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. That goes to that, to that cultivation right there. When you seek him 10 times more, you, you're seeking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right? Okay, one. Matthew 14 and 27. But straightway Yahweh spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on, on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried saying, Lord, save me. This is not the time, we're in a time where our faith is gonna to have to step out when your house shall call on us. We can't be, cause the wind is blowing and the rain is coming. We, it's not the time to fall out of the faith. Get scared, start curling up. They started getting that doubt. When they Esau see coming doubt. at us, it's not the time to yeah. be falling out the faith. Because he's going to come. The wind is going to blow. The rain is going to come. That's, that's that Esau. Coming. Yeah, that's that flood coming. Say, ain't me coming like a flood. You know, it's going to storm. It's going to be lightning. Go ahead, I, I just got to add on to what he, the point that he was making. That's the same thing when Howard Shaw walked on water and he told the disciple to come out and walk, come to him. You know, at, when, when the disciple was on the boat, he had faith in it. But when he stepped out that boat, that boat was what was giving him his faith that he wasn't going to sink into the water. But when he stepped out there on his own, the wind all blowing. of that wind and the waves started just beating against his faith, and he sunk. And that's, and that's what that spirit that, kicked in. Yeah. That non-belief, the doubt. Yeah, that doubt kicked in once he got out there on that water. And, you know, that boat, the safety of that boat These was gone. These days time, it's not time to be he getting shook up. Cause that's, that's what Esau about to do now. He about to shake up. I was about up. to say that. Yeah, he about to shake Sift up. Sift us out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, people is, is feeling safe now in this society now because it ain't, it ain't falling apart. But as soon as this, the society now, it's going to be just like their boat. As soon as that society goes away, people going to start doubting everything mm -hmm. and they going to just fold and go take the chip. So, mm -hmm. Especially people that's in these little off t-shirt and fringe camps. Yep. They ain't been armed up with the whole truth. You know, a lot of them say, oh, it's not the micro CHRP. So as the micro CHRP shows itself, I'm like, okay, Nate lied to me about that. What else did he lie to me about? So then it, that's, that's like a hole in your armor. Yeah. They doubt, they, they, he's not going to use that to dig all the way up in them. Next thing you know, they're going to have a little device in their hand and their head like, nah, man, it's sin, man. <laughs> it ain't this. You know, you got a lot of camps running with that. That's why it's so important to get the, uh, the whole truth. And so what Yahweh Shah is doing right now is he exposing these other camps. And you see uh, all these camps, they starting to roll the way Babylon the Great is rolled. You know, Sakari looking bad. IUSPK looking bad. Uh, IUIC looking bad. 
you know, I just showed him yesterday, did a whole interview with the little Haitian dude. I found they had pre-recorded that. So that's all like a big old setup, man. They, like, I you forget how you see them cats are owned by Esau. So, of course, they're not going to lace you up with the truth. So, they, they basically deliver you on a platter to Esau. So, you be a easy work to them. Because what they do is they're taking away your faith. Especially like the card and I used to be Them is like carnal camps. Because they say you got to use guns to, you know, beat Esau and train. And I seen, what was that dude, uh... Catch Zariac or IUSBK, he got into it with WAC 100, a rapper. Right. And I'm like, that's why you don't associate with worldly people, man. Right? Now you're going back and forth, and then you can't tell them nothing big. Your congregation, you up there talking about, that's why we train. Or I go to the range every week. Like, dude, that's not going to get it. You know, he just looks stupid. <laughs> WAC 100 basically pulled his car because he got scared. So then he made uh, the dude that was supposed to be the truth get scared. But that's not the truth. So that's, that's big too. You need faith and discernment to see through who really are the men of the Lord and who's not. Right, right. I got uh this, this pretty much gonna wrap up everything in a nutshell what the brother just all the, what all the brother just said right here. This is uh Ecclesiastica, aka Shawak chapter two, and I'm gonna start at verse eleven. And it said, For the Lord you have about me all shot is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful and forgiving sin and saving in a time of in, in a time of affliction. In verse 12, woe be to the fearful hand, fearful heart, and faint hand, and the sinners that go with two ways. And to the octaves mentioned, the sinners that go with two ways, those are those uh, Captain Cesaria, he go with two, two ways, all right? Because he's trying to be in the truth, and then he's associating with people in the world. That's torn two ways. So you, the Lord, y'all about to me outside, saying, woe be to the fearful heart, and the uh, faint hands, and the sinners that go with two ways, all right? In verse 13, woe unto them, that is faint-hearted, but for well, he believes it's not. And which goes to that precept that I just brought out earlier when, when Yahweh Shah told Peter to come out and then he, he was afraid, okay? That told him that he was, he was faint-hearted right here, okay? And then he said, therefore shall he not be defended, okay? So if you don't have that faith and you don't believe, you're not gonna be defended by Yahweh by King Yahweh Shah. In verse 14, and they said, woe unto you that have law patience what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Okay, you got that, uh, what's that, uh, uh the elder with the, uh, that, that baby. H-O-R. Yeah, H-O-R, and he, he lost patience. <laughs> yeah. And so, now he's trying to tell you that they, they persuade him to teach the words of Yahweh about to me out He went on vocabulary page. Okay? Oh, no, you're talking about one body. One body. I thought you were talking about H-O-R, because they're trying to build New Jerusalem. That to me is losing yep. patience yep. right there. Yep. That, that's patience. another example. Yeah. Now, the, uh, uh, dude, you talking about uh, his name Jethro? Yeah, Bobby? yeah, yeah. That's been faint hard. He got scared. Yeah. Because, you know, it's really kicking up. You got Trump and all that. So he went out, he blamed the elders. Oh, they they made us preach that. I didn't want to preach I want to preach Christ, uh, you know, yeah. which uh, he comes from IUIC. So they don't surprise me that he got faint hard and got scared. But he talked a lot of noise, though. You thought he was really Hebrew, yeah, yeah, he you was, know, a uh, couple talking, years back. Talking about how he, uh, they, they don't go to the hood and yeah, all that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. You thought he, he talked like he was the baddest Hebrew yeah. like ever. Mm -hmm. And here we are, things getting serious. And he going to vocab alone. He over there basically pandering to Esau like, man, don't do me like that, man. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. He didn't take his hand off the clouds. Not fit for the king. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's Fopi. F-O-P-E. Uh, they'll quit, come back, quit, come back. I'm like, dude, you might as well stay gone. Uh, no time for that. You ain't, you ain't been the Lord. And then, uh, and then verse 15, it put all of the people that have faith. And he said, they that fear the Lord, Shavuot chapter 2 and 15, they that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his way. Fine, man. So, hey, your faith and your love for y'all, I got to keep you locked in on this thing. You know, keep your eyes single, keep your eye on the prize, it's the kingdom of heaven. You know, you can't be persuaded. When especially like Esau like to come with gifts at first. Like, man, I'll give you, you know, you can be mayor of this city, right. or I'll give you this bag of money. Then when that don't work, here he come with the hard body troops, you know, military troops coming to your door, putting the AR-15 to your head, you know. Go tell your congregation this or else. You know, he gonna come with them tactics. That's when that's when Esau is basically like fed up. We're just gonna get to that point. But it tells you what's that Revelation chapter 12, right. you're gonna come down with great wrath. Because all his little, little finesse moves ain't gonna work in a minute. That's gonna go out the window. 
So Devil like, man, we gotta do it old school, man. Just get the swords, and, and they don't comply, take them out back and lay them out. You know, they might have you on the line. You might be what they, what they, they blind put up your eyes. Yeah. They bump you up in the line. They like, hey, you gonna hear that blah? They, they next. You know, that that point, you can't fold up. That's when you gonna see who really have faith. God, God. Some dudes, they, they gonna buckle. They like, no, hold up, man. I ain't Hebrew Israelite no more. I'm black. You know, give me that micro CHIP. I'm, I'm good on that. Hey, that that's uh, going back into a Torah 2 and 5, because he said, for gold is tried in a fire, an acceptable man in a furnace of adversity. God, and it says that's that furnace of adversity, man, that we all gonna go in, man. He's all about to round us, especially us that's uh, teaching the truth. You know, he's gonna round us all up, throw us in the camp, and hey, he gonna, they got orders, man, lay them out. You know, you can't be, you know, pleading. And, man, I don't wanna do it no more, and I'm black, and just give me another chance, man. That's, that's weak right there, man. He's all gonna let you, I mean, y'all shot is gonna let you hey, get whatever you're gonna get, man. He's gonna see how you ain't really mine, man. You're not no strong servant. I can't do nothing with you. You just, you a pretender. You ain't a contender, okay? Hey, another example in the, in the Bible is the three saints. When Nebuchadnezzar wanted them to bow down, you know, they was all standing like they was live like that until he turned on that furnace and only the three saints was the only ones that everybody else got to bow down immediately once they seen that flame kick up. Uh -huh. They wasn't really trying to you know, face that. Uh -huh. They lost their faith. Yeah, three holy children, the ones that stood up. Out of the whole it, was, it was it was quicker just to quote it, because that's the story right there. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's a good point to bring up. Huh? You got to be like that. They had to go in there, man. Your house was in there, and they delivered them out of there. And then he got so mad, I think, then he turned the heat up. Yep. Seven like, times. How? Yeah, he like, oh, no, nah, you, you, you ain't going to bow down to me. That's how he saw go. He going to turn the heat up. He going to get mad. He, he, he saw you to win it. up right now. <laughs> yeah, come <laughs> No. They said that the three saints after they came out the furnace, they didn't even smell like smoke. So we had them 100% covered, you know. Take it all the way like a bubble, man. And that's that's what gonna do the whole free let. And it's time to come, Lord. The so spirit of America is the furnace right now. Gone. Yup, yup, yup. Gone. They're getting ready to turn the heat up. Gone. Yep. The dollar collapse, man. They got a hey Trump like the, the cook, man. He he the one turning it up. You know, they just they telling him what to say. He gonna go out and say it. He, he got them riled up. You know, the elites. You know, they get they little they little lackeys like Trump, Elon Musk, and Bill Gates. Man, go do this. They gonna run they bunker and they the mother eater by the lower level of luminaries gonna turn the heat up, man. Like it's that time. You know. And yeah, the Trump. You just mentioned like through looking at the three holy children because uh, this is why the, the word would give you the, the ability and uh, you know because we just said uh, the. Uh, the fear of the Lord is the stability of that time, Luke, you paraphrasing, right? Because this is uh, Sirach 2 and 10, it says, look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And I just mentioned the three holy children. They called on the name of Yahweh about him, Yahweh Shah, and they were saved from that fiery furnace. I got one too, this is a I don't deliver us, man. In terms of, you know, our faith is going to light us up. This is Acts 26 and 17. Delivering thee from the people, from the Gentiles, unto whom I have sent thee. Verse 18. To open thy eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto your house, that they may receive forgiveness of their sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. So by faith, all that stuff goes into works, man. That's what makes you turn back and repent. That's what makes you serve your high bashi al your faith, you know? That's what makes you do that. You know, you ask for repentance. You ask forgiveness for your sins to be blotted out. You need faith to do that. You need faith to even consider you a Hebrew Israelite, you know? You gotta believe on that, because like now, it's starting to be where, you know, it's all the way out there, thanks to, you know, uh, boom, Russia opening the boat. But back then, hey, we was coming straight from the faith. Like, man, we them people, man, based on the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Now it's all the way out there. And I'm looking at Jake. Jake's still struggling to get on on this. I'm like, it's all the way out there now. You got Elon Musk, the neural link. Uh, they got the dude giving updates. What did he say? Uh, I can play the game with my mind. Yeah. You know? So the chip is here. The C -I -C -H -I -P is here. You know, ain't no more. What's that one dude said? It's June. Ain't no, no microchips. Yeah. <laughs> it's here now. So... 
Yeah, you can't say that. So everybody that's out y'all seen to come up out of there. They see dude ain't got it. Come over here. But I see a lot of them gonna just fall out, man. They gonna stay tied to a blind leader. They ain't really got no faith like that. So when the heat come up, they gonna burn up with it. You know? All because of pride. They looking at Nate. Nate got the money, man. He shiny, man. He he uh he balleristic. That's because they can see it. They look at him with the money like, man, he look like a man of the Lord, man. He throwing concerts. You know, everybody got matching garments. You know, uh, he got to be a man of the Lord. He got a hundred fifty million dollars. That, that's the problem right there. They can't see past their money. Gone. Nope. Blind. You can't go. serve two masters. Yep. If you're going to serve Yahweh you Shah, you're going to serve Mammon. Yeah, Jordan Jake going to serve Mammon. Go ahead, all right. Hey, this is 2 Corinthians uh, 4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Jehovah who is the image of God, should shine unto them. And like you were saying, that what they did to make them, to blind them, was, was money, you know? They looking, they looking at the wrong thing. Instead of looking at the, the doctrine that Nate is pushing, they looking at all the glorious things that he can afford and think that that gives him status, but that only gives him status in this world that's about to crumble. They don't give him no status. You know, he he, he ain't gonna get his ticket punched. A lot of his followers, they ain't getting their ticket punched on the day of the Lord, you uh -huh. know? And another thing in that verse, them that believe not, to believe you gotta have faith. You cannot believe without faith. And here goes scripture, uh, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our, for our learning. The things in the Old Testament that the church talking about is done away with, we got faith that that was written for our learning. And you cannot stand on that the whole book if you don't have faith. You don't have to have faith in this book because the scriptures give us the hope. Uh, uh, really, you gotta have that faith, man. Here go another one. This is Psalms 31 and 23. Oh, love the Lord, O oh, yea, his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentiful rewarded the proud doer. So the Lord preserved the faithful, man. That goes back to that story of the three holy children we talked about. They believed in the Lord, you know, wholeheartedly. That's why they didn't bow down. And because of that, what happened? Y'all wish I preserved them. I said preserved them so good, they didn't even smell like smoke. You know why? Because they were the faithful. They looked like, I'm about to bow down to this dude right here. And he was a king at the time. You know? Uh, Babylonian king, if I ain't mistaken. I yeah. yeah, yeah. So they, hey, they, they went against dude. And what he say? Plentifully rewarded the proud doer. So that's all these uh, jakes that took the bag. All these jakes that drunk on Babylon juice. Worry about getting the bag, looking good, status in Babylon the Great. Hey, you're going to get your just reward, which that's going to be a uh, pain by death. That's the reward they're going to get. You know what? You start a death, burn up with fire, Esau, you know, gun you down, whichever way it go. That's what you're about to get, man, for being a proud doer. Because a lot of times you can't have faith because they too much into uh, their carnal and they full of pride. You know, they too caught up with uh, Esau pseudoscience, what Esau say. You know, I got, I got a lot of jakes that I deal with at my job, and they always, well, what the white man say? I believe in evolution. Exactly. I want the white man to sign off, and if the white man say that's it, then I believe what you're saying, but I got to hear it first from the white man. So I'm like, oh, okay, you a homeborn slave, man. You ain't got no faith. You are not of the Lord. So I'm pretty much wasting my time. We don't got a divine creator. We came from monkeys. Man, that's that nice thing right there. God. And that's because it's all laid out, man. But I, I look, I don't know how they can believe in crazy stuff like that. He saw but they do. To him. Yeah. So they, 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 that's that uh, serpent charming of them. You know, he's telling them, you know, this is what it is. And then he got everything, too. He got the fatness of the earth. The big bang theory. He got the resource, yeah, which is craziness to myself. You can see, you can look at the world, look at the animals and nature tales that made by intelligent design. But big bang basically saying it's like everything just happened by accident. It's coincidence. I'm like, I don't see coincidences. I don't see accidents. You see creatures that's built a certain way, that do certain things. It shows that that was intelligent design. The whole ecosystem is built by intelligent design. You know, that's why I think it's scripture said to go look to nature, to see the Lord, and you do see it, man. You be like, okay, that's why that creature do that, man. Do that for that, okay. 
Okay, he built like that so he can do that to get the food that he needs. You know, or they do that to get away from these predators. That's intelligent design, man. A crater had to create that. I mean, you just look at yourself as a, a, a human being. You know, the things that we can do, the consciousness that we blessed with. They came from somewhere. A body that can heal itself. God. Man, I got a point. Let back you up about the how how false the Big Bang Theory is. I got an analogy, and an analogy is the the Big Bang Theory to how things happen by chance and not to be uh, a design like you're saying, because everything in the world was designed for a purpose, and, and they're, all of it fits together like a puzzle. But to believe that the Big Bang Theory is true, it will be basically like if you put um, all of the pieces in the box and just throw it up in the air, and they all gonna just land right in place and fit together. That ain't gonna never happen. No matter how many times you pick them pieces back up and throw it back in the air, you ain't gonna never get that puzzle to land perfectly, all of the pieces connected, supposedly like they supposed to work together, like the Lord created this earth. Yeah, I had an unbeliever tell me, he was like, uh, man, I believe in the Lord, but I believe in the Big Bang Theory. I believe the Lord created them gases to blow up. And I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? All that shit is random chances. <laughs> if, if, if the, if a big gas blew up and it just created everything perfectly, that's a random chance. The Lord ain't about that, man. That's yeah. that's finding fault in the most time. Exactly. You know, he he's perfect. He did it to perfect for the first time. He's like, I believe in the Lord, but I believe the Lord created the Big Bang to make everything. I'm like, no, that, that, that's awful. Yeah, that's the yeah, He yeah, had yeah, a blueprint. Gotta... Man, he had, yeah. Go do this, and that goes to that, and this and that, and y'all trying to ain't y'all going to lay it out. And that's how it went down. There wasn't no chance. You trying to have a mixture. You trying to, I believe in the Lord, but also Big Bang Theory. We came from monkeys. I won't believe in evolution too. Like, nah, they don't go together, man. Either you see the or yay or nay, you know. And they come from uh, non-belief. Uh -huh. They can't see the system. They can't see that this world was made with a tele design. They don't believe in that. You know, they got their do as thy will spirit. They want to think. They, you know what it is? They want to take away accountability. Is what it is when I get boiled down to it. They want to be like, man, uh, I mess with that dog, because that's my basic instinct to do it. And I should be able to do that, you know, and that's, that's right. You know, that's what they, that's how Esau thinks. So when Jake thinks like that, he's, he's getting just like Esau. Instead of having some, uh, you know, some structure. Jake don't believe in order and structure, man. They just want that do as thy will spirit. You know, uh, if it feel good, it is good. You know, if I want to mess with that, that cat, I should be able to do that. That's my basic instinct. When the Lord, the scriptures tell you don't be sleeping with no animal, man. Then the law tell you that because it's sickness. You know, that's an order for that. So you don't get diseases on yourself. Jake want to be like Esau and it do craziness, man. And then I, we up here from outside telling them to get back in order because the person who made this planet, or should I say help make this planet, Yahweh Shah is getting ready to come back and he getting ready to run it. And Jake can't believe in that. They like, man, that, that don't make no sense. But yeah, he want to believe in the Big Bang Theory. So that's why you got to tell Jake, man, it's walking down the block, man. Because you just, you hopeless. I can't help you. You know, you can't get faith. It ain't like uh, working out. You know, get faith, give Jake about five scriptures. Think he going to build up? No, man. If he that far gone, he just gone. Yeah, like you know? said earlier, faith is a gift. And most people don't got that gift. Nah. So you, you, can't, uh, you can't expect to give a nigga ten precepts and think he going to build on it if the Lord didn't uh, bless him with that. That's that strong delusion taking effect. Uh, he gonna come back with Hotel Comedy. He gonna come back and tell you, I got something better than that. You know, you need to unlock your chakras. <laughs> you know, this Christ consciousness is just all kind of, Jacob be all over the place, man. They don't believe and that the Lord is really bringing it in and back up the middle the Lord. Really, he backing his word up, because that's what we use the word. So this coming into play. So our faith is increasing. While Jake is still over there, he ain't even gassing up. He, he about to be driving the car with no gas in it. We over here gassing up. We getting ready to go home. Jake's still trying to discover, you know, if it's a big bang or not. Or, you know, and I'm looking like, bro, this place is crumbling. You know? But like I said, like I said, man, it's, it's a gift. And then, you know, you know what uh, the Lord go, what he gonna tell these people? Cause you know what he says, uh, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in our name? And he said, get from off me, cause I never knew you. So he back to go. Let them go and get that destruction. And uh, this is uh, and it actually made me think of a judge right here. This is Judge 10 and 12. And it says in the uh, the Zidonian, also the uh, Amalekite and the Mordecai, 
did oppress you and ye cried to me and I deliver you out of their hand. All right, and so this is when the Israelites was in a, uh, in a form of oppression when you're going back to the history and the Lord delivered them, okay? And then he said in verse 13, yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Where, wherefore I deliver you no more. All right, so this is exactly what is going to happen because you got these other people that refuse to turn back to the Lord Yahweh He's not going to deliver them. Okay, and he said, and go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen, and let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. You see, Ooh, this one ain't gonna do it. Jesus ain't gonna do it. Hey, right. so bad you got old, old bug out Kanye West talking about, hey man. Jesus ain't helped me, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, we done told you a dumb butt, man. No Jesus, <laughs> your dumb self. And he just looking like, boy, they done sucked everything out there, dude, man. He looking so spaced and bugged out, you know. Uh, what else got? Oh, Old Testament, Egyptology. That's not going to save Jake. And there's a lot of Jake's in that. You know, uh, voodoo, voodoo, uh, Buddha, uh, whatever Jake is into. Black consciousness, uh, the black dollar. The earth is black. Uh, my, my AR-15. Yeah, oh, yeah. Jake. my ancestors in the universe. Like, God, yeah. that, that stuff. Man, a lot of Jake's into that, boy. I, well, if I hear that one more time, the ancestors, <laughs> pray to the ancestors. Like, I mean, who are your ancestors, man? You're going to be right in the grave with your ancestors. Exactly. You're about to join them in a quick hot second, man. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get you life. We're trying to preach to you to where you don't have to take that. You can translate like he not. See, the righteous will believe in this. This is Romans 10, and I'm going to start at 8. It says, but what saith it? The, wor the word is nigh unto thee. E the word is nigh unto thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the words of faith. Which is uh, which we preach that if the, uh, thou shalt confess with thy mouth that the Lord Yahweh Shai and shall believe in thy heart that Yahweh has risen him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For which the heart men believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confess is made unto salvation. Man, you gotta confess that Yahweh Shai is and believe in that. That's how you're gonna get salvation, man. And the righteous is only gonna believe in that. The scripture said. And I, and I love that part when he said, if thou believe, if thou, if thou, Yahweh shall have been raised from the dead. That's talking about the power of Yahweh, right? Because you know when you go to Deuteronomy 32 and 39, because he said, I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. And your All goddamn right? ancestors haven't been raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. that, that ain't going to work. You ain't never seen them pop up. And then just, yeah, this is how we do it. No. They, right. You are your ancestors. Right. Your Howard Shop been raised from the dead, man. He's the one how, uh, how we get saved and get out of here. He's the Lord and Savior. You got it out. Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false Yahweh Shai's Hamashiach and false prophets and shall shew great signs and wonders and so much that if it was possible they shall deceive the very elect. The elect ain't gonna, they faith ain't gonna be withered by what's going on in the world. All the lies that's being told, Christianity, is, Islam, that the elect ain't gonna be moved by that. Their faith is gonna be steadfast like the tree that was planted by the water. Your faith gotta be wrapped around Yahweh Shai that can no man budge you. And Lord willing, we're part of the elect. Right. We ain't gonna be tossed pro for every uh, wind to the doctrine. You know, right. there's a whole lot going on, especially at this time. You know, with the Lord, he, he locking them dudes up, though. Hotel Comedic getting decimated right now. And I got another one right here. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 1 and 27. For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, and faith and meekness are his delight. You know that? So the fear of the Lord is wisdom, man. So you really fear the Lord, you're gonna be in his truth wholeheartedly. You gonna seek them wholeheartedly. You gonna like. You gonna do your due diligence. You gonna study to make sure your way is right. You know. He said, uh, "Faith and meekness are his delight." You know. So the Lord loved faith. He loved meekness. You know. It's called Moses, the meekest man. You know that was living during his era. You know. And he loves faith. You know those that believe in him, pray to him, call upon him. And when you do that, what, what's your appetite gonna do? He gonna increase it. You know. He gonna give you more to increase. He gonna open your bag up. He gonna put more in there for you. You know, so you're going to be so much full of it, you're going to go out and teach the word yourself. You 
like you say, you're gonna be uh thirsty with living, you know, what's it, the living waters like rivers. Cause you're gonna be so full of it. You know, and like you need to keep getting full, keep getting back. Like I said, man, don't don't start carrying and getting scared now because some prices coming to play. Like, oh shoot, go to micro CHIP. Oh shoot, the dollar gonna crash. Oh, we're gonna get cyber attacks, it's gonna be dark. Oh man, I see Esau talking mess about the other tribe, no other tribe is next. Let me go try, like I said, dude was like the worst example of an like to be, man. They do the one body death throw. Yeah. Don't get on social media. Hey man, I ain't about that no more, man. I ain't with that no more. I just wanna teach love everybody. Uh, I wanna come in Jesus' name. I'm like, man, that dude, everybody should have left one body after that. I look at dude uh, sideways, like, man, what? All this work we don't put in, you gonna go and cry to the devil? He can still gonna bust you upside the head, whether you cry. So you might as well be a man like a warrior. Cause what is that, Exodus 15 and three? Uh, the, the, what do you say, uh, the name of the Lord, the Lord is a man of war? It's time to be on warrior status, man, beating our chest, not over here pleading to the devil. He's still gonna tell you to open your mouth and he's gonna blam it on you. You're still gonna starve to death if you get that micro CHIP. You know, so it's not time to, to get scared and throw your faith out, man. It's like throwing your, everything the Lord gave you, your, 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 your money, your riches, your water. That's like throwing it out. He done took off the helmet of righteousness and the fresh plate and just chucked that shit. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't, don't want to be found a soldier. But I got a quick one. This is Colossians 2 and, uh, Two and uh and six, it says, As ye have therefore received Yahweh Shah Hamashiach the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therefore with thanksgiving. You got it, huh? Here they said established with faith, man. To where you get the thanksgiving. You know, once you establish in faith, it's gonna make you rooted and grounded. Then you're gonna start getting built up to be like, what's that, Jeremiah 51 to 20, that battle axe. You know? You're gonna like, when well, my Lord got me, man, I ain't worried about nothing with Esau coming with. Or right, what you other two thirds are talking about, man? I'm about to go this way. This is the only way. I ain't got no other way to go. That's how you're gonna look at it. You're gonna tell Esau, like, hey, do what you're gonna do, man. Because uh, I only know one way. And that's your faith gotta be strong like that when the time comes. Because that's the one thing Esau gonna threaten. He's gonna threaten your life. Uh, your livelihood, you know, you're gonna lose that big old house, the nice car, you know, the, the status, the little job, what you had, you know, and a lot of people don't want to lose that because they, that's all they got because they, they ain't leaning on your house, they leaning on the what, what, what this world provides. That show is really not kingdom mind, you know, that's really the exposure. You, you said trading on this kingdom, you ain't worried about the kingdom of your house, you ain't trying to put in no work for him. You trying to keep what you got here. Yeah, this kingdom gonna end. Your house shot kingdom is forever. This kingdom gonna rust. Yeah, it's rusting now. That mother about to collapse. You know, it's that full-blown collapse mode. We just wait on this dollar, this devil to say, dollar is done. We're moving to, you know, Fed coin or whatever they gonna call their little crypto they gonna come out with. You know, I'm just waiting on that announcement. Then like Oxy you said for Ken, they're gonna do cyber attacks. You know, uh, run here to my facility to be safe. And you're gonna need, a matter of fact, they did that the one nine situation. They tested people's faith, yeah. you know? We was telling people, man, don't get it, man. Your immune system will uh, 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 heal you over that illness. People didn't have faith, nah, I'm about to go get it. Then they went and got it, now they looking like, dang, I, I got females, my family, every female of my family regrets going to get that. Body deteriorate. Yeah, they regret it. Like, oh, I should have. I'm like, man, that's your right there. And then, like, I got some of my family. I do got faith. I'm like, no, you don't. You just went and got the, uh, the one nine. They prove you ain't got it. You believe in the white man system. Exactly. exactly. And you ain't got it. So, really, you think about it, faith was tested during that situation. That was like, like what's you call it, a uh, pop quiz? Mm -hmm. They're like a quiz. But the ultimate test come down the line, which is coming real soon, man. They just getting the kinks out of it. They gonna first collapse the US dollar, and then once that digital dollar come on the play, then that micro CHIP gonna go on the play. And that's when people's faith gonna also be tested. You know? You gonna see, you gonna have a lot of people like, but I ain't going to get that. I'm gonna do this, do that. Then when it really hit, they be like, man, I had to go get it, man. I had to, I got kids to feed. What am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? I gotta take care of my family. 
But don't judge me. I'm about to call on you. You ain't got one. You know, you gonna come down to that, man. This thing about to start it, man. It's great division being made right now. And what Yabashaw is doing is separate who got faith and who don't. Yeah, I got <laughs> Hey, just go back to like you always say, the the, the people, they're going to go get the the, uh, the chip, and then afterwards, they're going to realize, man, I wouldn't have got the chip or nothing. My stomach's still growling. Yeah, he's not going to say, no more cricket patties. Yeah. You're going to get for a limited time. They're like, hold up. You told me if I get this, then I'm about to look like this devil break every agreement he ever made. That's the same thing he just did to the migrants in New York. Yeah. God. Pumped yeah. them up. You can come up for you going to, now this is the land of milk and honey. Uh, I forgot to tell you, that shit is only for 30 days after that. That's your business. <laughs> you better get out and you get it. You know? Same thing the one now situation that came out. They was like, uh, first when they said uh, 100%, and as it went on, the number just kept going all the way down. And I think it went all the way down, they said about 20%. You know, uh, keep you out the hospital. Uh, do this, do that. I'm like, hold on, that ain't what you said the first time. So I know they start looking crazy. Like I went and did it based on what the devil said. Now three months later, the tune done changed. Now they the one I look up, man. Uh, like like my wife's family, they still getting it. They done had uh, uh other rounds of it, other shots of other rounds of it. They getting it. We not. So you like, oh man, I should have listened. Hey, but but he saw <laughs> he the ultimate drug dealer, and like all drug dealers, he make his money on the comeback. Shit, he can't. He gonna always have more stuff for you to buy. That ain't gonna never get old. Remember that chain? They said you first you get it, you good. And they yeah. said, nah, it only lasts for six months. Then it went to three months. Now they probably saying like, hey, you need to come get it every month. You got something left over. You need to get a booster too. God, <laughs> God, <laughs> God leave, man. And that will break every truth. I'm like, I've been looking at Jake, especially the older Jake. You know, the ones with family grown. I'm like, y'all 67 years old. This devil done kicked you in your butt. <laughs> for know how many years? Y'all done dealt with three generations of this devil yeah. doing the same shit. I mean, like, you still listening to this devil? I, I told him, hey, I told my grandma, this next time, that's gonna do you, that's gonna be your grave on this next one. The devil got something special for you on this next one, man. I'm like, yeah. You think they learn? It's like, it's like they can't get right, like they slow or something, man. Yeah. I'm like, man, how the hell you this over? They, they're insane. That's insanity. You keep doing the same thing over and over again, yep. getting the same results. All messed up. Now you got this. Take this with your diabetic medicine. Then take this medicine. Then you cracking me. I was like, this hurt. This hurt. I'm like, man, you own like eight medications. Like I said, they a uh, drug dealer. I'm like, okay, how about you get some herbs and some some vegetables and stuff and cut this out. This is why your head hurt. Then you like you read their medication. Like, grandma, it's safe. It causes dizziness and headache. <laughs> like this is the side effects. Like. But my doctor said, hey, like the doctor, he like, hey, he, he the word of God. Whatever that doctor tell them to take, they going to take it. They don't give a damn. They have more faith in the doctor than they do the Lord. Or God. Yeah, they not, can put on the label. It's going to kill you in three days. They'll still take it. He's not going to heal them to take away his mansion. He's going to give them just enough to come back to see him again. God, if like he, I said, hey, good drug deal. It's going to yeah, come he, back, got something better for all you. He messed you. up. If he heal you, then he ain't going to be able to pay for his mansion. God, his yacht. The oh, golf man. trips. Oh, your heart messed up? I got something for that. Uh, hey, man, that medicine case messed up to mess my lungs up. Oh, yeah, I got something for that. Yeah. Hey, now my lungs messed up. Oh, I got something for that. Hey, the corner to my knee. Pressure. Yeah, yeah, my high pressure. blood pressure went up. My knee going out. Oh, I got something for that, too. Hey, they look good. They got about 10. You look at your grandparents. They got, oh, yeah, they got to take my medication. They pull out about... Man, 12 hey, pills, hey, man. Some, some of them got a bag full of medication. They got a purse full of medication. <laughs> they got a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, flip up time. <laughs> God. Hey, I got one. Hey, this is Romans 1 and 25. Who changes the truth of God into a lot and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever? Amen. That's what they're basically doing. Instead of you know having faith in what the Most High has done and gave us herbs to take, they don't have no patience for that. They want to go and serve the Creator. And, you know, I could get this certain one little thing taken care of in the next hour or two after I take this medication. But next thing you know, next week, you, you need three medications. That's the same though. Like, who wants to go put some petroleum based drugs in their body whenever the Lord gave some greenery? A uh, herb that'll do the same thing that's made to, to uh, naturally heal your body. That's crazy. Petroleum just sound like it's about to do, do you in. Man. Like, yeah, it's everything. Like, yeah. <laughs>
Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourself treasure upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up thy, but lay up for yourself treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt or where thieves do not break through it nor steal. I will make this not for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Our heart and faith is not in this world. We waiting on the next kingdom to come. We not taking their shots. We not doing whatever they say. Our faith is in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And that's what's going to keep us rooted and grounded while these devils come and attack. And that, and that, and that right there, that, that part of the food, like when he said, where your, where your treasure is, that where your heart be also. They faith is here. Yeah. And that's where, that's where gonna, when you go to the word heart, it goes into your mind. So they're constantly thinking of ways in the world that's going to save them from the same pearls that's going to be, that he thought he was putting on them. You know? But if you put your treasure in, in, in the Yahabas and Yahushua, can't nobody take that from you. Can't no thief, nor no, it can't be corrupt. It can't be corroded, nothing, you know? That, that's the knowledge. You, you attain that knowledge, you attain that gift with the faith. And that's going to take Some of that's physical can't harm, some of that's spiritual. That's right. in a whole other domain. That's in a whole other realm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what the Lord is telling you, get more spiritual. You know, and I'm going to increase that. And through the, the spiritual, then we're going to make that into the physical, the new reality that's going to come in. Your heart there first. I'm about to get rid of this that's already here. It's, it's, it's sickness, man. It's got to be scorched. You know, so they saying a rise of the part. This is not your rest. You know, so look to me, the Holy One of Israel, believe that I got a kingdom for you. That takes faith. You got to believe in that and trust that I'm going to bring it to you. No, that, that, takes, that takes patience. That, that made me think of a scripture right there because it says, uh, Yahweh Shah said, Call ye upon me and I will take away your tears, uh, your tears and you can have rest with me. That's who you pray for. And I think that's in Revelation. When he said, he speaks about that, he said, I will take away, I will dry all your tears and you shall have rest with me. And so when you brought up uh, what that Michael 2 and 10, he said, Rise ye and depart, but this is not your rest. It's literally telling you to depart from this world, depart from the, the doctrines of this world. And seek on the doctrine of Yahweh about me outside. There, you will have rest. You will have hope. You know, you will have salvation. That's what you're gonna get. And yeah, you gotta believe that it's gonna come though. Yeah, it ain't here yet. Back to faith. Yeah, it'll go back yeah. to faith. Yeah. And it's like, like uh, when you look at the the Fisher analogy, because he call us fishers. Right. You know, you got that's a patient thing. You got patient uh, wait for that fish to bite your hook. Or a farmer, when you plant your crop, you gotta patiently water it and wait for it to grow up and, and bear its fruit. You know, all them things take patience. So patience, I noticed, patience and faith is like, you know, hand in hand. Because right. we waiting on the kingdom. You know, kind of like somebody waiting on the bus stop. The bus said it's going to show up at 4 p.m. He said in that bus stop, you know, he's believing that it's going to be there at 4 p.m. Right. Otherwise, he wouldn't be there. You know, so it comes in, you got to have patience, and you need that faith, man. You got to believe. And see, we have that. That's why we're, like, calm right now. I know the two-thirds, they kind of, like, they kind of like bugging out right now, man. They kind of like, they, ain't, uh, they don't have the stability. They starting to panic, man. They over here, man. I think they going to get it, man. They going to do it by Russia and China. You know, they all worried. We not. Because we believe in something that's about to come that's better than this. Go ahead, the, the bus says it's going to be here at 4.30. But here it is, 4.30. We still waiting because we waiting. got the faith that the bus is going to show up. It uh, might be late a little bit. Yeah. Kind of like it's that gonna now. Be on, it's going to come on time. Might show up at 7. So say, say if it's like three people waiting on the bus, it's supposed to come at 4.30. You know, two of the people leave. They're like, bus they, 4.30, they the bus ain't coming. They, so they leave. You know, I'm staying patient. Part of the event. Party. So here the bus come, and it come at 4.30, came at 7. Guess what? I'm getting on that bus, I'm going to get to my destination. Only the elect going to stay there and wait. You're going to text them up, man, the bus can't. Hey, hey man, tell the bus driver to hold up. No, he can't hold no, up. He right. got to, it's the city. He got to go make his stops. He got to go. They all, man. Show me a picture of the event when you get there. Man, I'm at the house. I Holy love. The spirit the bus is the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. God. And I like how you use that analogy, too, because you said three people. That represents the one-third and the two-third right there. The two people that left, that, those are two-thirds right the there. the spirit. God, they going to be all angry and mad 
uh, dude that wait on the bus, he going to the concert. Right. So he get to his destination, wherever he gonna go. They didn't wait, cause they didn't believe. They said, it said 4.30, hey, he ain't here, I'm gone. You know, dude like, man, he, he, he running late, man. Yeah. I take this bus all the time. Yeah, he, he really, he, I know, he, he run all the time, he be here. But, but, that, but that's according to your knowledge, you know, cause you know, you gotta think about it. How about Jimmy Alcha, he said his ways are not your ways, he said the Lord, so his thoughts are not your thoughts. So if you say at 4.30, you thinking the Lord is late, but in reality, he's just on time. He right on time. Time. You know what I'm saying? Somebody has that big transfer buses and then it came, you know? But you gotta have pace, you gotta have faith, you gotta, you know, you gotta wait. Yeah, we got strong men on this side who man, that you can look to, like the elder apostle Tahar and right. the old man. They've been in this thing for 30 plus years. They had, you, got, you gotta have faith to be doing that. Cause they had a, a situation with the 2000 thing. They could have fell out easily over there. Right. And they, came, they still came through reading the word, breaking it down. She is still here today. Yeah, because of that analogy, they like it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. A lot of you dropped out, like, oh no, nah, it didn't come in 4 30. We out of here, man. Y'all some frauds. Y'all false frauds. We out of here, man. They stayed and look, the bus is coming, man. The I had the faith that the Lord was gonna lead me to the right here. Because you know, you watching out, you're like, this ain't it. But you have faith that He's gonna lead you to the right place. God, you could have fell out that one camp. Right, oh, he ain't got yeah, it. Is. So I'm out here with all that. I'm a hotel comedic now. Get your little Egyptian stuff on and your eye paint. <laughs> <laughs> got a horse. You know, you could have left on that. But a lot of people do you do see, that. You see them. Yeah. Yeah, they be getting a little camp. The, the camp go left. And they just they just throw out the whole truth. Like, I ain't even going to slip through nobody. I done heard a lot of you say that. But that was a stumbling block for them. Cause he didn't get the job done, they threw it all out. I'm like, it. man, look at, we still got other man. Look and at they this camp now. Pull the fish in and throw the ones back. That's their stumbling block. God, so they just let, they threw it all out, man. Since he got it wrong, I'm out. You know, I don't want to do nothing. Oh, I know a chick like that too. Uh, my wife's one of her sisters, man. They was at IUIC. They see dude full of it, and instead of them like, okay, let me get what your husband talking about. They just, hey, I'm gonna just be in the world. I'm gonna I just, went to I, got IUIC, I, I went over there to IUIC up there. That was the first time I, you know, Seen that it. I, I've had faith that the Lord was going to lead me to the right place. I thought that was, you know, but the Lord kept. And yeah, now he kept I'm here. working. Yeah. He kept showing it, you know. Now now they, here, yeah. As you get close, you start getting visible. You know, you start looking like, hey, man, that ain't it, yeah, man. Yeah. You said what? Oh no, I'm out of here, man. Hey. Hey, real quick, this is going. Hey, let me make a point right quick. Okay. Hey, like, like, uh, your friend, your wife's friends. They never was really in it. They was just around until they had a good enough excuse to leave. Mm -hmm. And once they got that excuse, they was out. They wasn't worried about no other alternatives. They, it, was the, it was the theatrics, the show that kept them. It was, it was close to the Christian church. Yeah. They left the Christian church, went to IUIC, because he's just like it. Yeah. They all like, oh, we got this. He doing that. We got this. He, he bringing this rap out. You know, they was all on that. Yeah. And then as it kept going, like, what we're here now, you know, my wife all like, Look at Elon Musk and Earl Link. Look what they say. Look what they say. You know, pulling out all this dirt. So then once it's like, I I'm just go back. I'm just do my own thing. I'm just go back in the world. I'm just, I'm like, well, nice. Why you when don't they start looking through come my over wallet, here? Looking all in my wallet and stuff. That's like the police. Boy, they are the police. <laughs> that way, I'm like, that didn't sit right with me. Like, like all in wrong. my wallet. But, all up in the little cracks, like. I talk about how you see all in the wall. Oh yeah, yeah, they do. A little young dude told me they, um, they got to pay wallet. for they uh they yeah, Passover festival events. And I uh, I ain't a hundred percent. I ain't talked to men. I think they can pay camp dudes. They got to pay so much. And I was looking like so. I asked the young dude, I'm like, hey, man, how many y'all gonna show up? You know, so I'm looking at how much money he making off of them. I'm just like, man, you, that ain't that ain't bothering you. Do he making this much money off of you? Do you gotta? Put in vacation time, do you gotta pay your own hotels? Just to be, I think he put in that year, they was in a Legend Magic Stadium. He was all excited about that. I'll pass some Legend Magic Stadium. You know, I gotta pay for this, I gotta pay for that. And I'm looking like, bro, they, man, they killing y'all. Then, like, they doctors all messed up. So, you know, we we at work, we talk, it used to be a lot of them at my one, one job. So they talking. You know, they get they getting cut up. So look at Nate told him what no Jacob's trouble. Right. They believe in that. So when he flip flop, they all like, man, come get our captain, come move, move, move. Young dude start saying, man, you ain't got it like that. You know?
Ahí hey, todo el mundo le gustaba tirar todo el peor. Sorry. Y'all good, y'all good. Sorry, man. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so man, so now, you know, they started getting confounded because they kept flip flopping so much. Y'all told them they gonna do that. You know, and instead of them getting with it, they, I don't know, I guess it's a pride thing. Plus, they gotta do a, a job application to sign up with them. They gotta it's go just, to Oklahoma City. It's just too much. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the, the chapter's in Oklahoma City. And he telling me, man, y'all didn't sign no application to go preach the word and, and do this. And I'm like, nah, man, we need the knowledge, man. Right? I'm like, y'all had to do all that shit. Like, yeah, I told him, hey, your stuff in the police database. <laughs> so I told you, you better get away from there, man. And, that, and that's why, and that's why when you uh, you know, when, when you don't follow the scriptures, you gonna fall victim to those type of things. You know, when you think about First John four one, he said, "Believe not every spirit, but try the spirit." If they not work, working towards the, you know, doing their operation, their organization is not according to the scriptures, then that that should tell you right then and there you shouldn't be following them. And you know what I seen was happening to them. As I see them every day, they start losing faith. I can tell a lot of the dudes I work with, I think a lot of them gonna fall out the truth. Yeah, they was trusting in me, man. Yeah, and they faith is fella. Every time they come back, I can say they got a little bit less, a little bit less. As they start changing doctrine and flip-flopping, it, it was he taking away from his congregation. So they, and I'm like, y'all not strong in this. And then all they trust in Nate, then they starting to see flip-flopping and moving backwards and uh, you know, moving slimy, they be like, damn. Shit, I should have man been building my faith on the scriptures instead of this man. Now I look crazy. I, I don't want to go to Great Millstone and say they right. Well, I don't want to go they, over they there. Pride. That's they, what it they, is. They're like, fuck, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to just be in the world. Know, and you notice that out, all of that, it, it, it just get worse and worse because now they don't want to come to Great Millstone. That, exactly. That's pride. Hey, matter of fact, now think about it. I met one of the gas station. He's back in the world. Yeah. Yeah, he was IUIC. Now I asked her, like, man, you still, you know, Nah, nah, man. I just do my own thing. I'm like, ah, oh, see, I knew it was coming. Yeah, you know, they put too much trust in that man right there. And that and man, man had fell like, and let him, let him astray. They were like, shit, fuck it. I don't want to be on nothing else. Yeah, they didn't have no faith, though. I was looking at them, a lot of them brothers. I'm like, man, y'all just worldly, man. Y'all seem like y'all got faith. When I met that young brother again, yeah, talked to him, I kind of seen it coming because they, they didn't really got it like that. It was just, it was the, the, the gimmicks that they had that drew them there. They wasn't really about it. Like I said earlier, that's that's what exposed it. As they started to fall apart, they fell apart. So I'm like, you was never really in this thing sincerely. You just wanted the, the theatrics, you know, the, the stomp the yard, the fancy garments. A lot of, one of the uh, Jake talked to, he, he went to IRC because of the women. Get a wife. They, yeah, they got all the women. I'm like, man, dude, what? You <laughs> over there for some thing. Ratchet. Yeah, somebody said that from you definitely gonna get a wife if you go to IUIC. I'm like, that, you shouldn't need They told me that. And they and then, wanna know all your business. You got Oh yeah, you gotta fill you all your information tell, out. You gotta tell them about your wife and all that yep, stuff. Yep, all your information. Yeah, she now. ain't in the truth now, both of y'all gotta go. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, they do. <laughs> that's what I say, man, the, the faith is gonna be big in this thing, man. You see a lot of people that had a faith. And that's why they fall out. Because they didn't have faith. Right, man. And that's even off. If your wife and or your husband ain't in the truth, you gotta go. The scriptures got plenty of scriptures on having an unbelieving wife or unbelieving husband. Yeah. He shouldn't even be in your business to turn it to your exactly. marriage. Your marriage shouldn't be revolved around the this whole and all always your, like said, in your business. Yeah, he shouldn't even be in your business like that. That's what I said, that place is just wicked, man. And, and guess what Esau did? In my job, he gathered all the IUIC members up and fired. And I had told them, quit wearing y'all fringes to the job, man. Esau don't need to know that you in the truth. They all be beating their chest. I don't care what Esau say. You know, he will hit like that, 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 And then, hey, they got all rounded up far. I even seen one of the young dudes, he was telling Edwin on the job about the truth. Then Edwin might turn it red. I'm like, man, see, Nate, that's just bad leadership over. I had to go tell young dude, hey, man, why would you tell him that? And they didn't get nobody a job or get another guy's no money neither before getting fired. Yeah, they just out. They are at the job, they fringes on, the wife got their fringes on. They over here telling Esau, yeah man, y'all about to be our slaves in a minute. I'm looking like that's a lack of wisdom, man. Yeah, you is. on the clock. What you? you hey, Esau over there turning around. I'm seeing it, I keep as I'm in the bar. He's over there listening. They're like, I know he ain't saying what I think he's saying. Esau turning red in the book. And this is what got them fired. I think that Edom might went and told. One of the managers, right. and I think, cause it was a lot of them, it was probably like 50 or 60 of them. It was all the IUIC dudes, sons of Jacob, and he saw part of all of them. Based on that young dude telling 
Esau. I mean, Trey Tatum on that. Yeah, y'all gonna be like, he on the highway hedges, man. I'm like, what the heck? That, that lack of wisdom, man. And you probably see, if I see him now, he probably, I ain't even the truth no more. So you just got everybody hot. Because you lack wisdom. And that's that what you're supposed to be. Wise as a serpent and harvest as a dove. Lack faith. You really don't believe. You just so happy. You know, it, it's the new fad. It ain't to be a nigga on the block no more. Put fringes on. And I'm going to tell the white man, hey, you got to be my slave, man. Right. And, and they got it where it's like that. It's like a gang, man. They stomp the yard. Ain't no faith in that, that congregation. You know, ain't no faith in the Sicaria congregation. They trying to put their faith in their swords and their weaponry. And when Esau really show up, you're going to see a lot of them, man. I'm black. <laughs> you know, they're going to put their fitted hat on. Rock jewelry. Now, we just want to make money. We are, uh, we, 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 we going to call it a trademark. We're an institution to make money. You know, we ain't really about that. I just want to make some money, man. They're going to turn it into something else. You know what? Didn't the Lord say, uh, don't make my house a house of merchandise? Yep. They did that. They also said, they really don't believe in Yahweh Shah. They just want to make some money. They made it a business. Yeah, he also said, uh, freely you have received, freely give. And so when they making merchandise, they making you buy precepts. You know, yeah, they, they you sell buy precepts. Prayers, yeah, yeah. Precepts. buy prayers. So they really, like they, them people think God. Like, people should see those men right there ain't really got the faith. They really don't believe. They're not driven by faith. They're driven by money. You know? So these can't be the men of the Lord. Right. Especially when you start saying like, what did he say, uh, Apostle Paul and authority? Man, who the heck is you? That right there, everybody should left on that right there. Who was you? This one of the apostles and you go, oh, no, nah, we, we ain't going off the, the book of Apostle Paul no more. So he's right. taking books away. Basically, so that's taking faith away. Uh, that's, that's taking that's precepts what, away, understanding. Yep. So he's taking away a lot of your faith. Right, you know, that, like uh, I said, they 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 take away, and that makes you that serve that makes you an easy target for Esau. When he takes taking away all the books of the Apostle Paul, you got to think about uh, Timothy, Hebrew, First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, Corinthians, them, them, yeah, Corinthians, all them Romans, the, all them the writings of Paul right there, and yeah. Peter too. Cause Peter gave Paul props. You know, yeah, he, yeah. he was he was He taken away, man. I'm looking at them, they just gonna be a rap organization in a minute. And like we said though, you know, that's them books are just pieces of armor that they gonna be missing when it's battle time. God. And these are gonna know just what to hit them with to make them, you know, go and take that chip. Yeah. Yeah, you got what I, they gonna take it too. Lamentations four and seventeen. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. That's the faith right there. We're not, we not waiting on Esau to save us. Even that go for our nation. Right. The false prophets that lead us the wrong scouting. way. Yeah, they scout them. They that go for our own, own people. They taking people faith away. You take away books, you're taking faith away. you taking wisdom not understanding the way. So they're depreciating their faith, man. And we're going to need that in this time. You're going to be building up your faith, not taking away from it. You know, they doing that for money's sake. See, so y'all got any more? Yeah, I got this uh, off with uh, this right here. You go ahead. You go uh, see, I got uh, this is James chapter 1 and verse 2. And it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations. And he said, count it all joy. So this is another reason why, uh, you know, you can't believe when the Plantation Christian Church says that the true believer is going to be raptured out of here. Right here, he said, count it all joy through when you fight five with uh, diverse t temptations. You're going to go through some things in this world, right? But uh, verse 3, and it says, knowing this, that the trial of your faith work is patience. The octave just mentioned earlier, patience and faith will go hand in hand, okay? So the try so so first you're gonna go through that temptation, and that temptation is gonna help build you. That that takes work for you to keep, you know, be going through all of these things and you still holding on to the words of Yahweh by me out shot. Okay? And so that that work is your patience. Alright? And in verse 4, and it said, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Alright? And so after after you have all of that patience. And you working, what do they say? Faith without work is dead. Okay, you're going to have all of these things abundantly. You're going to have everything that you love, and you're going to get it more abundantly. That's what the Yahweh Shah said. Because he said, the thief coming to steal, kill, and destroy, 
anything I come, that they might have life and that they have it more abundantly. Okay, that, it takes faith and it takes work to have that. All right? And in verse 5, and it says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of you how about you now shall they give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not, and it shall give it, and it shall be given him. All right, you, you got several brothers in this camp right here here today who started out with one group you know, and, and then they kept working, okay, and they found GMS. All right, those who have the, the truth, 100% truth, okay. And so, and they came from asking, yeah, how about you all shot to lead me to the right camp, okay. And then they said, in verse 6, and they said, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, all right. So, when you ask, you how about you all shot, you got to have faith again. That's that faith. And it said, let him have faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavers is like a wave of sea driven with the wind and its toss. Okay, and so if you're wavering, meaning that you're you're not sticking to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, then you're basically looking for other groups for all different types of kind of answers. Well, then all you got to do is stick to one scripture, stick to the book, all right, and you're going to have that, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But if you're wavering, going from the doctrine to doctrine, you're basically being tossed to and fro, all right. And so, where the wind blow. And then, and then it leads to verse 8, because it says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Mm. So, when you have this doctrine and this doctrine and that doctrine, you become unstable, all right? You're not ten toes down in this thing, man. You got it up. I got one. This is uh, 2 Timothy 4, and I'm going to start at 6. It says, for I, it says, for I now am ready to be offered, and the time of the, and my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is led up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me in, in, the, in that day. And not to me only, but unto them also that love is appearing. You got it. That's perfect right there. Love that one, man. He said a crown laid up. You know, that goes in the rulership. That's what we patiently waiting on man and through faith we believe that we gonna get rulership so we continue to do what we do prophesy and be steadfast in this truth in order for that to you know be a reality because we believe in that and proud of life I like that man. part I said I have fought the good fight you gotta fight uh, every, every day all day in this place man <laughs> to keep your sanity to keep these words because there's a lot of people who trying to pluck your skin out mm -hmm. here and mm -hmm. tell you other ways try to get you to go different ways and stray away from the faith you yeah. gotta fight that good fight of faith that the apostle Paul said. Be that, be that soldier. What does it say? A deal hard and that's a good soldier. Luke the paraphrase. Yeah, he said, I have finished my course, man. We gotta finish this thing, man. All the way until Yahweh shot cracked them skies, man. Or until we got our head in the uh, guillotine and we standing stiffly for the Lord, man. Uh, uh, that's a big one, man. Your biggest fight used to be the close people around your family. Uh, That'd be your biggest fight. They try to convince you, don't do it. That's why the scriptures say they saying you rocking the boat. That's why the scriptures say your foes, uh, the, your, those are your foes to be those in your household. Yeah. That, that, that temptation right there. That's the part of that temptation. Okay, don't rock the boat. Yeah. You see that about people that want yeah. over there. Yeah. You know? So uh, I'm gonna leave off this right here, man. I got any more precepts? No, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna leave off this right here. This is second Andrews 15 and 4. For all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. So if you ain't got faith. You know, when this time hit, Jacob's trouble hit, you're gonna die in your own faith. The prophets that put out and preached to you faith, words that are true, and prophecy that's gonna happen. You put it out, what he says, those that have ears, let them hear, so you can believe. So for those that don't believe, which is gonna be the majority of our nation, the Lord said, all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. You die because you didn't believe in the Lord. So therefore, the Lord is not gonna save you. You know, you go either what? Starve to death, uh, burn up, uh, get uh, brutally murdered or however it go, whatever judgment you get you die because you didn't believe in the Lord the Lord gonna preserve all his faithful servants, you know, Lord willing part of the whole thing left that being said, man, we hope this been edifying we give all praise and glory to the house of God, 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 the house of God